Joining me is one of the leaders of this LSU defense, senior Braden Fajoko. And impressive performance tonight by the defense. You held Georgia at under 300 yards. Really? Yeah. Didn't know that. Yeah. Had over, uh, out, out gained him by almost 200, uh, you know, the, the LSU's offense. Could have had more. This performance, it seems like you guys took it personal a couple of weeks ago when the committee seemed to call out the defense. Um, you know, I, I don't think it had anything to do with media. I just think it had more to do with the LSU defense playing up to the standard. Um, we took a lot of pride, especially the D-line. I mean, we knew. You know, we don't have the best stats in the country as, as some of these other D-line units, but when you turn on the film and watch us play, watch us as a whole unit and the defense play, we play some good football. It seems like the, the, the switch was flipped and you guys took your game to another level against Texas A&M and you carried that over again mm -hmm. today. Does it feel that way for you? It does. Um, and the crazy part about it is we still haven't played a complete game. I mean, Georgia drove down uh, late in the fourth quarter. Um, I know for one I, I, I should have. I could have had a sack that you know prevented a touchdown, and we also had a fourth down penalty that kept the drive alive. A few times that drive, really, we could have had three sacks. Um, th those are things that we need to fix as a defense. Still not complete yet, but you know I'm proud of not only the, uh, the guys on defense, but everybody as a whole because we're taking steps in the right direction. Well, 13 and 0 SEC champions. Not yes, perfect, but the yes, record sir. says so. Yes, sir. Um, can't complain. I mean, a win is a win, and everybody's happy. Uh, we just got to keep this train rolling. Was it extra special win in this game, in this building, basically a home game for Georgia? You know, is that, does that add a little extra juice? Yeah, I mean, you run out that tunnel and 75% and of the, the stadium's all red. And so, I mean, everybody knew that they were going to travel uh, in a big, you know, um, convoy tonight. And so, I mean, you look at how they came last year to Tiger Stadium. And we knew we had to come out and throw the first punch. Does it matter to you first, second, or who you play in the next round? Not, you know, not really. Um, we know we're guaranteed postseason play. And so whether we're ranked one, whether we're ranked four, whoever we play, wherever we play, um, when we play to the stand-up LSU football, just watch out for this team. Finally, uh, Coach O was on that podium. He said, hey, we still got two more to go. This is nice. But is, is that the feeling that, hey, we're not going to enjoy this too much because uh, we got a lot of business still? Yeah, now is, is where things start to buckle down. Uh, you're going to get the four best teams in the country battling it out for a national championship. And so we're not done yet. we got to go back to work. I mean, the scoreboard, you know, may seem otherwise, but I know Coach O and the rest of this coaching staff is, is never satisfied, and that's a good thing. Saw the Fajocos in the stands at the end of the game. They were enjoying themselves. Oh, Dad was having a good time. <laughs> glad, glad they got to have a good time. So always, always happy to have my family here supporting me. Congratulations. Thank you so much. All right, let's go back to the studio.